My name is Sarah. I'm one of the design team members here at A Cherry on Top, and I have a fun traveler's notebook video for you today. So for the month of February, some of the cherries are gonna be popping in onto A Cherry on Top's YouTube channel and creating a couple of videos for you, focusing on different types of scrapbooking that can be done in a small size. So I am a lover of traveler's notebooks. I actually have pulled out two, and I pulled these out because I'm pretty sure you can grab these two styles from these two manufacturers in a Cherry on Top's shop. So I wanted to make sure that I got pulled some out that you could actually go ahead, go over to the shop and grab and purchase. So this is a standard size traveler's notebook. This one is from Paper House Productions. This one, I don't have a lot of empty pages in. I've done a lot of work in this one. And uh, it is uh, getting a bit chunky, that's okay. And then this one is from Simple Stories. So this, the reason I pulled these two is because this is a standard size traveler's notebook. So it's about four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. The Simple Stories ones, they use a size that is, um, I think it's commonly referred to as Kahir. So it's a little bit wider. It's more five by eight. This one I haven't worked a lot in at all. So I'm actually gonna do a page in and do a process video with you using one of the photos I have in this album that need to be scrapbooked. I think we're gonna go with this one. So uh, I just wanted to point out that there are two separate two sizes. So if you want a larger size, you can get a larger size. If you want a smaller size, you can get a smaller size. Traveler's Notebooks make wonderful mini albums. That's what I basically use them for. I like to document things in my Traveler's Notebooks that, um, I, should, I call it the fun things. For example, I love to take pictures of flowers. I am forever getting down on my hands and knees and taking pictures of flowers. And so I want to document those photos. I want them to be in my life. I want them to be in a book that I can flip through, but I don't necessarily want them to be 12 by 12. So I use a traveler's notebook for them. Um, I use a traveler's notebook to document things like the books that I read, the movies I watch. Um, the smaller everyday stuff of life. Those are the kinds of things that I scrapbook into a traveler's notebook. These types of stories and these types of things allow me to have um, stored space for a smaller sized book. They're easier to complete, a little bit quicker to complete than a 12 by 12 layout. And I just can play and have fun in them. So uh, I wanted to show you these two sizes and we're gonna work in this one from Simple Stories today. This is one of the Carpe, Carpe Diem inserts. And uh, yeah, we're gonna work with, I think we're gonna work with some of this P13 collection because I have it right here beside me so it's easy to grab and go and use. And then we're gonna scrapbook this photo. So this notebook is one of a set of notebooks that I have documenting the pandemic. Um, I use some of, these are printables. You can buy them or print them out from Persnickety Prints. And they are just timelines and they go um, throughout last year. So they go from January, 2020 to December. And um, each one of these notebooks covers um, one month if there was a lot of kind of COVID related stories to tell. Uh, more than that, if there weren't, when things like over the summer, when things were a little bit quieter on the COVID front. So uh, this one covers July, August, and June, July, and August, I think. Yeah, June, July, of, and August of 2020. And I just, uh, each of the photos I want to scrapbook, um, I have them kind of attached into this book with just some washi tape, easy to remove, and then use the photograph with the spread. So that's, this is the spread we're going to work with today. And I hope you will enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and voice over and speed up and we'll go through the process of creating in a traveler's notebook. I will leave um, a link down below for any a traveler's notebook insert in a regular size and a traveler's notebook insert in a Kahir size in the shop. And um, yes, I hope you'll think about using this kind of a format to document something like the pandemic, something um in your life that you really enjoy doing that you take a lot of photos of and then go to scrapbook in a 12 by 12 and go 12 by 12 really for the books i read <laughs> or you know something like that this is just a really fun easy way to do uh, some documenting for yourself or another really great idea about this is because they are a smaller size they're fabulous for documenting and giving as a gift um 
you know, no one is going to feel overwhelmed by just having this little small book in and in a cover to flip through. So, okay, let's get started on our spread. So let's go ahead and get started on our spread. I have trimmed down these two six by eight papers just uh, a little bit just to fit them into my uh, traveler's notebook. And I rounded the corners so that all the corners will match on my book. The Simple Stories notebooks have uh, rounded corners. So that's just something to keep in mind if you really don't like rounded corners. I am going to go ahead and ink up the edges of both of these background papers with some vintage photo distress oxide ink gives them just a little something extra a little more interest and distress oxide ink is something that you can add into a traveler's notebook to add some depth and dimension without bulking up your book too much i'm going to use my favorite uh tape runner and just tape my pattern papers right into this traveler's notebook. These papers are not super thick and the pages in most traveler's notebooks are nice and thin which really does allow you to use some heavier paper uh, and some heavier pattern paper to be able to kind of create your own backgrounds on your spreads. I want to put my photo just right there kind of towards about a third of the way down from the page. And then I'm gonna take these two little banner pieces. These are from one of the cardstock tags pack from P13's Forest Tea Party set. One of them says Tea Party and the other one says With Friends. So they are perfect to go ahead and use as part of my title. Anything that is available in the Cherry on Top shop will be linked up below in the description box. And that will allow you for some easy shopping if you want to create one of these lovely books for yourself. So I did a little stash diving and found these puffy gold thickers. So I can spell the word Zoom and that's going to allow my whole title to be Zoom Tea Party with Friends. P13 has a ton of fussy cuttable and cut apart sheets in their collections. So I went ahead and utilized some of those to finish off my spread. I'm gonna take this three by four card that is just perfect. It says time for tea and I'm gonna kind of put it on the other side of my spread. That's gonna break up that pattern and it's just going to add a little bit more embellishment to my layout. I thought about using those banner pieces, but honestly, they were a little too big for the size. And now I have these beautiful fussy cut flowers. I'm not gonna use a ton of them. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a couple of small clusters on my page to add a bit of whimsy and a bit more decor. And then this also is going to help hugely because these are just paper. They're nice thin paper. Um, and you can just cut them apart and add some, again, adding that depth and dimension while keeping things kind of flat. That's maybe the hardest part of a traveler's notebook or the more difficult part. I love, love the little critters in this collection. They are so adorable. They're all sitting in like little teacups and they have little tea bags. So beautiful and perfect. And so I just had to add that cute, cute little mouse to the corner of my photo. Now, just as an aside, I have more pages of this particular event in my 12 by 12 scrapbook, but because this was something that was what I would call pandemic centric, so this isn't something we do, you know, normally we would have a real tea party, right? So um, I wanted to include it in my COVID journals just um, as a mention or to kind of remember that this was something that we did in 2020, right? So I don't need a ton of journaling. I don't need a lot of um, photos because I do have kind of complimentary 12 by 12 pages. And this is just a mention in my COVID journal. To finish up my spread, I'm just gonna add a couple little um, elements. I wanted to add that black sticker. I wanted to balance out the black in my photo. So I'm wearing a black um, kind of tank dress. And so I really wanted to kind of add just a little pop of black kind of opposite my page to just to kind of even it out. So it wasn't just my shirt that was stark and black. And then I'm just gonna add a couple. I had like a little triangle of these cute little circles 
And then I think that's it. I don't think I decide on any of these stickers. They are really cute though. Um, so thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you will hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any questions with tra about Traveler's Notebooks, leave them in the comments below. I will make sure to check back and answer any questions anyone may have. I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Here are some close-ups for you. And I will be back again next month with a new theme and a new video. Bye.